Two years ago, I made a video teaching you how to install a DC breaker for being used as a solar isolator. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why we've switched over to an actual solar isolator, some of its features, and how to wire it. Welcome to Explorers.life. My name is Nate, and I teach people how to build DIY campers. Let's get started. Now, these two pieces of equipment serve the exact same purpose in an electrical system. They're just going to disconnect the solar panels from the charge controller. But right off the bat, you can kind of see that the enclosure for the DC breakers is a fair bit bigger. It's a little more clunky, but ultimately, electrically, uh, the breaker does a fine job. Uh, most of the breakers do a fine job, but there are certain DC breakers that if you wire them backwards, they will overheat and potentially catch on fire. There's been a few videos of people showing that, and to remove all doubt, I wanted to get away from these, even though there are some breakers that it doesn't particularly matter. These DC isolators that we've started sourcing, Steph has been hard at work in the background trying to find these, and we have them available in our store now at shop.explorers.life, but it doesn't matter which way you wire them, top to bottom, bottom to top, it doesn't matter. So let's get into the box of this and see what it looks like. Here is the isolator. It's got a big on off switch right on the front. And then it's got four plugs on the top and bottom, four wire entry glands that you can either purchase separately or as part of our solar array wiring kits. On the inside of the isolator, it's a pretty simple mechanism, really. There's wire terminals on the top and bottom, so one, two, three, and four. And up here, there's one, two, three, and four. And these are simply connected together top to bottom. So one's connected to two, three to four, five to six, and seven to eight. Nothing is connected, you know, crossways, one's not connected to four, like all these are independent. It's just straight up and down. So to actually connect a solar array to the isolator and the isolator to the charge controller, like is shown in all of our solar array wiring diagrams, it's pretty simple. We're going to unscrew these two plugs, put in these two wire glands, and then put our positive in one of these, and then our negatives in the other one. So the way we have this wired now is we have our positive and negative wires coming down through the isolator, passing straight through on their lined up terminals, positive and negative, and then positive and negative would come into the PV positive and negative of your solar charge controller. These two wires are coming from the solar array. And if this was all you were wiring into this solar array, we'd be pretty much done. We could put the cover back on and then make sure that the knob turns and then screw the cover back down. A little tip here, if the knob doesn't turn, it means that you've probably turned the knob while this part was not turned and you put that back on and it'll fit, but it won't turn. So if you run into that, just loosen it up, spin it, 
for the back and it should be good to go again. Now, you'll notice that there are two sets of unused terminals. Now this means that you can actually wire two separate solar arrays into this isolator. So examples of why you would want to do that would be if you had a roof array and then you had a ground deploy array, something that you could sit outside next to your camper or you know run 50 feet away from your camper so you could park in the shade. Another option would be uh, two roof arrays. That's pretty common too. If you've got a bunch of mismatched solar panels, you may want to run all of your like solar panels to one solar charge controller and then your other solar panel sizes to another solar charge controller. So there's all kinds of different options that you can do with this. You can do the one or the two, roof or ground, two grounds, whatever you like. And that's how easy it is to wire a solar isolator. Now this solar isolator really does form the backbone of all of our solar array wiring kits that we have at shop.explorers.life. We have all kinds and sizes of different solar arrays ready to go, and they all run through this solar isolator. We even have dual array kits, like double roof array kits, and a roof and a ground deploy array kit. So I'll leave links to all of those in the video description below. We'll see you next time.